Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of War of Warship. We're going to be showcasing this tier 9 uh, premium uh, pan-Europe uh, destroyer from the Conquest of the Mediterranean event. Now, you can get that ship for free if you complete all of the missions that comes with it. As well as uh, spending some of the cold steel and credits and free experience to get extra uh, coins and then you can buy the ship for free all right you don't need to spend any uh, doubloons on it whatsoever so let's just uh, get that out of the way so uh, the ship is called the Jagger um, it's from what 1917 it's the Austria Hungarian uh, ship but it's a blueprint yeah it's a blueprint so it was never built it's just a paper ship but anyway um, the captain that I'm using for it is the unique commander Jadaza whatever <laughs> uh, so here's the up, uh, skills that I chosen for it I mean it's pretty much typical Holland setup uh yeah i would probably would want the radio location too because uh you know the jager got four uh torpedo tubes so yeah why not right and we also have a uh, enhanced uh adrenaline rush which is great because that would just uh decrease the reloading time on everything as you get more uh, damaged and we have the uh to Peter to reload skill and uh, I guess the last four I will add is uh, more HP and make my turret more uh, turn from more, uh, faster but yeah we can go with the liquidator I mean either these two is just fine or you can go with the uh, incoming fire alert but anyway we don't have any skills to uh, pick them right now so let's uh, move on uh, we got the main battery right here it's 150 millimeters shoots at 9.5 kilometers you know what I'm gonna say this straight out the gun sucks <laughs> I mean the guns is 150 millimeter but the dispersion is just terrible I mean it's probably because I, I chose the torpedo 2 modification I mean maybe it would be a little bit better if I have aiming system but uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Um, I prefer more speed though. So I get that 5% uh, torpedo speed with this upgrade along with the torpedo reload uh, time upgrade. So that's when the torpedo comes in. This is the best part about this ship. <laughs> I mean, forget the guns. This torpedo, obviously, it's not that strong because it's a uh, pan you up you will only get the maximum damage of 7,533 that's pretty weak but it has 65 second reload time that's a minute and a five seconds um, and that's including with all the upgrades that I added from the captain and over here so you get a minute and five seconds for the reload the torpedoes are 12 kilometers, so it's pretty long range, and they travel up to 90 knots. Now, you can get the upgrade from the commander to have 95 knots. I mean, that's pretty dope as well, but 90 knots is just good enough, so you don't really need this, you know. I mean, all you're going to get is a... Uh, a little bit of an extra uh, edge but it's not that much of a big difference to me in my opinion but anyway um, we have speed boost we got a repair party which I suppose is good because the ship is pretty much uh, made out of glass mm -hmm. in some cases uh, we got depth charges and we got a uh, very crappy AA uh, defense. Oh my god, 16. 
Jeez. I mean, what do you expect from my 1917 uh, ship, right? In a tier 9. Okay, the maximum speed is about 37 knots, but I add the signal on it, so we get 38.9 knots. Um, concealment. Oh, that's the best part about I like about this ship is the detectability range by sea is 5.4. That's uh, that's crazy. I mean, you would do pretty well if you uh play in a battle without radar ships. You would <laughs> annoy a lot of people. So um, yeah, let's hope we get one of those battles. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, get a battle and see what this uh, ship is all about. Alright. I'm not a fan of this map, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, so I have RPF. I know where exactly uh, where they're coming from. So where are we loading right now? And uh, 65 seconds. Yeah, that's definitely fast for for any uh, T9 uh, reload. I mean, besides the uh, what you call it, Yugamo. Yeah. Alright, I don't know if I want to cap. We'll probably not cap. Uh, they do have radar. Two of them, that is. A Desmond and a... A War... Uh, Sester? War Sester? <laughs> okay. And a Seattle. Holy shit. Holy shit. That is... Three radar ships. Oh man. We have one, maybe two. I don't know if the Neptune is smoke. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, All right, so I'm gonna. Oh, he has location too. Oh, he has RPF. That is not good. He knows where I am as well. Alright, let's launch the torpedoes. Oh, it's coming this way. Alright. Let's watch how fast our torpedo uh, reloads. It's gonna be quite fast. Oh, here's the Seattle. Holy crap. Alright, turn. It's gonna wait on me. Alright. We got a Monarch. Okay. The Desmond. Right, the Desmond. Yeah, it's right there. So that's two radar. Where is the Worcester? Oh man. There's still one radar unaccounted for. Alright. I feel bad. I abandoned C so I can cap B <laughs> because I don't want to deal with the radar. Oh my gosh. If I was a gunboat, I would definitely try to challenge C, but like I said, these guns are just very 
garbage. Oh man, he died already? Shit. I wasted it. Oh, okay. So here's the Worcester. Alright, so I'm gonna deal with two radar on this side. This is terrible. Alright. Oh, wait. The Seattle is about to get owned. Okay. So the Seattle is dead, so that's one radar down, uh, two left, alright, Worcester is going the other direction so I'm going to cap. There's another DD here, where's that? Could be the Corsac, oh man. I haven't seen the Jager in a while. They have a Jager. It's a Jager. Oh, I gotta use my guns. Jeez, there's two of them here. Oh my gosh. Oh, am I gonna get the Kazakh? Oh, he, he's gonna beat himself. Oh no, he's not. Okay. Holy crap, almost died. Alright, so there's two destroyers there. Um, luckily, this guy's stuck around. I would have died instantly. Alright, Condi. Get in there. I'm gonna try to keep them at bay. Oh, I got one. I got two. Oh, we're winning. All right, let's just keep it. Uh, keep it stealth. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is. This is pretty uh, intense. At the same time, it's pretty fun because I'm reloading at what? 54 seconds now. So. That's crazy. They're gonna see like torpedoes for every minute. Oh. You motherfucker. I got fire. Oh my gosh. And you know what? It is what it is. He has no HP. I mean, he does have heal. I forgot about that. But, uh, maybe he used it all? So the black is gonna deal with the Cossack. We're gonna try to cap this. I don't think the Jager has any HP to uh, challenge me. And he doesn't have RPF. That's good. So he doesn't know where I am going. 
Oh, what? The Condi died? Oh, shit. Alright. I mean, if the other Jago had the gas, he would probably think I'm coming from this way, too. Better watch out for the uh, torpedo. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. He was ready for that. Oh my god. Getting jumped. This is not a one on one fair fight. Did I mention this gun sucks? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Turn. Oh my gosh, I made it. That was scary. Alright. I think we got this in a the bag. There's only two ships left. They're gonna try to cap B. Man, only 19 damage in total, jeez. Yeah, I think he's gonna stick around here. Alright. I'm not gonna deal with Worcester. That ship would destroy me. Come on, let's cap. Oh man, the Martin Arch is dead. Alright, that's good game. <laughs> well, I didn't really do much for the ship. I mean, you probably be expecting 10 torpedoes. I mean, last time I had about 14, and that was crazy, but unfortunately, you only got to see two torpedoes and me killing Dr. Jager with my crappy guns. But the consumer is pretty dope. Pretty dope. 5.4. Yeah. Can't go wrong there. I mean, luckily there's no hybrid or uh, aircraft carrier in this ship, so... <laughs> we don't really have to deal with any of the damn planes, because... Yeah, the planes will kill you... Easily. Because your AA sucks. <laughs> They'll just keep coming at you. <laughs> so that's one of the, I guess, weakness. As well as uh, crappy guns. Uh, great torpedoes, though. I mean, that's the only good thing about this uh, ship is the torpedoes. Uh, here's the depth charge. Let's see. I mean, yeah, it lays eggs, pretty much. Can you imagine if they made these torpedoes 10,000 damage? Oh, man. That would be great. But anyway, this is pretty much my first uh, Pan Europe Premium ship. 
So yeah, I'm glad I I bought it. I mean, I bought. It. I didn't buy it, but I got it. <laughs> So it's a fun little ship. I really dig it. Definitely not made for CV matches or radar ship, but if you get a game with a radar, you might get lucky. So anyway, uh, that's gonna do it, guys. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. So I know you want to see more. Take care. See you later. Till next time.